Hi everybody, my name is Ian Smith. I'm the founder of a free, non-commercial, apolitical website called UKEartsWork.info. Normally used for creative professionals, whether or not they are practitioners, so dancers, musicians, fashion models, photographers, filmmakers, and all crew as well. Um, and it's mostly for them. However, this particular issue is important for anyone who has, before the end of the withdrawal period, when Brexit finally happened, um, uh, took on residency in an EU state. And you have an Article 50, it's called, um, card, usually. It's sometimes called slightly different things in different EU states. The reason for this video is that um, a lot of people um, in opposition to the advice by the EU Commissioner having their passports stamped in and out if you're an Article 50 card holder. Now the EU Commission suggests and recommend highly, strongly, that that doesn't happen. Each state can do it if they want to, but most states have decided not to. However, there's a lot of inconsistency. It doesn't affect your residence rights at all if you've got a passport stamp. It doesn't affect your rights to work in your host nation and also your home nation, UK. However, it can cause confusion and is causing confusion um, at the borders. I uh, know of a few cases and one in particular where a woman was stopped and incorrectly told she'd exceeded her 90 and 180 allowance as a non-visa national. In actual fact, there is no limit in terms of your host country and only 90 days in any of the other countries. So it doesn't really affect you, except the border guards are getting confused and see an exit stamp and then no entry stamp and then it's confusing. So this little video is just to explain to you what you should do when you approach the border, an immigration officer at the external EU border, wherever that might be, not the internal ones, normally there's no border between countries of course. So if you're coming in from uh, flying in from an external state like the UK or America or wherever else and you're an Article 50 card holder, this is what you maybe should do. First of all, when you approach the immigration desk, give them your card first and then your passport and say, no stamp, please. They might still do it, but if they do, then you have to argue your case. There are a couple of links below. Um, one on the advice from the EU Commission and the other one is the Border Guards Manual which is given to all of the EU states and is recommended for training for border guards throughout the whole of the EU. Uh, it's in English, and if you check pages, I think it's 68 and 69, bottom of page 68, top of page 69, it gives you clear advice on how a stamp is annulled or cancelled if you've been given one incorrectly. And you can show that to the border guard if necessary. Um, and there's also a link to the EU Commission recommendations below as well. It's not a massive deal, but some people aren't quite understanding that it can cause you a lot of potential hassle if it's not done correctly. For example, you fly out of your home state, say France, and then you come in via another state, say Austria, and then you travel overland from Austria to France or travel around the Schengen area. And then you're back in France for your host state, but you're there for six months and you don't travel again. But you've only got one stamp showing inwards travel on a date that is over six months before. Border guard gets confused. You've exceeded. No, I haven't, officer. But you've gone out through a different country. So it's not a big deal. It doesn't affect your residence rights. It is purely a problem of potential confusion. And this is just to help um, with a little information on how to deal with it if you need to. So I hope everyone's well, everyone's um, getting there, and here's to a better future for everybody, wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.